So here I am with Amy, AKA Fat Amy. So I finally got Fat Amy a dress. Boom, the airlift bumper with the mud flaps. See these hooks right here? And uh, I just installed the airlift bumper, so hook up to that. It's for aircraft to hook hooks in them, put the Humvee in the pallet, lift it up in the air and drop it where it goes to battle. I'm gonna hook up to these uh, hooks back here and lift me up, then I'm coming to you airlift style. So it doesn't matter if you invite me to the movies or anything, I'm coming airlift style. So if you, if you got a problem with me, I'm coming airlift style. I don't care if you invite me to a barbecue, I'm coming airlift style. If you invite me to a dinner, I'm coming airlift style. Uh, you invite me anywhere. That's how I'm coming airlift style. If you got beef with me, airlift style. I'm coming airlift style. That's how I roll. I want to show you something real quick. See, I keep my M16, hold on. I keep my M16 rifle. Clip the... <laughs> I clip the top right there. See, this is where you keep your M16, the butt of the gun right there. And I keep my other M16 on that side too. They have the... Oh, sorry. I keep my other M16 on that side. You clip it right there. Then the butt of it down there. Now, all, all seriously, where do I keep my gun? Now, there's a lot of places where you can keep your gun. A lot of people always like to keep it on the side. Their, their main gun, like people keep it on the side. But my whole thing is, I want my gun to be easy access. Yes, it's on the side, but I want it to be away from anything like my hands come across. My hands come across the emergency brakes. My hands come across the controls, the drive controls. I, I don't want my gun anywhere here. So where do I put it? I put my gun in the ceiling. Here you go. See, just like this, um, this pad right here where I keep my phone. As of now, I don't want to drill any holes. I don't want to drill any holes in the Humvee. And I don't want to put adhesive because adhesive is hard to take out. I had to take out adhesive from the roof. As of now, as of now, I just want magnets and something I can take in and out. So I'm going to show you how I keep my gun. This, this is where I put my gun on. This looks cool. It's a company called Soft Hold. Soft Hold, always in reach, handcrafted in the USA. I'm not sponsored by Soft Hold or anything. I just love their products because it works perfectly for me. It works perfectly for me because I don't, I don't like, I don't like attachments for some reason. So what I'm going to do is, it's a magnet, a very, very strong magnet. I can't put this on while I'm holding the camera because the magnet will break my hand. My hand is already half broken. That's how powerful, this magnet is so powerful, it's insane how powerful it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on the ceiling, and then I'm going to show you how I keep my gun. See, now I'll put it on the ceiling. It's on the ceiling of my Humvee, right above me, right above the steering wheel. So, I'm driving, I'm cooling. The gun is right here within reach. I can grab the gun and uh, defend myself if need be. My hands are never here, my feet are never here. I never cross paths with the ceiling. It's like somebody said, if you want to stalk somebody, uh, use a drone or something, nobody ever looks up. If you want to stalk somebody, never. But not, not only no, nobody ever looks up, but no, nobody, you, you won't cross paths here. And this magnet is so powerful, the gun is going nowhere unless you want it to. Okay, so here's my gun. So what I'm going to do with the gun is I'm going to put it on here. It's going to stick like freaking glue dog it's gonna stick like you won't believe again so but this this is great because if i had it like around here around this area look how many controls and stuff that you might grab and push or uh, and stuff it's too much stuff here i don't like it i don't like my gun near traffic i like my gun away from traffic o only only access only only grab it when need be so again, I'm going to take this gun and I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to try to do it while holding the camera. I have a bad arm and this magnet is crazy powerful. See, here's the gun. And voila. So I did it while holding the camera. I hope you, can, hope you saw it. So now the gun is in the ceiling. I'm driving, you know, I'm cooling, everything's straight. Something crazy happened. The gun... I just grab it and it's ready to rock and roll. I'm finished. I put it back. 
it's trying to give you better views kind of give you an idea how easy it is to access it and it's right over there soft hold and it's just perfect spot for the gun soft hold is the company i think they're a great company made in america god damn it hand handmade and crafted in america it's a great company anyway it is if if this is what you want you know i want this i don't want i don't like plugging holes and stuff in my vehicles i like it where i can have it accessible and you can't see and it's not in the way of any controls or traffic so just to get a better view of it there's the gun that's the seat it's right at reach it's, it can't be at a better place for, uh, my opinion it's just at a perfect place for me right there in the ceiling there it is right there in the ceiling it's at a perfect position for me I love it again I'm sitting here boom it's there boom I put it back I never think about it because it's out of out of sight what is it called out of mind out of sight until until if anything is real then I know where it is, and I can rock and roll. Johnny, this is Troutman. Where the hell are you? John, come in. Murdoch. He's here. Rambo, this is Murdoch. We're glad you're alive. Where are you? Give us your position and we'll come to pick you up. Murdoch. I'm coming to get you. So this is Amy without the airlift bumper. As you can see, in the middle, there's the tow hitch on the side, two shackles. So there's Fat Amy without the dress. <laughs> She's a beauty, though. With or without the dress. This is the old bumper, two shackles on the side, a tow hitch in the middle. You have to remove this bumper, the rear supporting bushings, and the bumper platform. This is how it should look after you remove it. Then you install the new platform for the new bumper. This is how it should look after installing the new platform for the new bumper. Then you install the new bumper. This is how it should look after you install the new bumper. So I'm putting two by four, I don't know if it's gonna work, <laughs> but it's to support the Humvee, the back of the Humvee while I remove, cause I have to remove this, so that's what it is. When I go like hiking or a walk and I see these animals right here, I am so amazed. Hold on, I'll try to get a good shot at it. Uh, the camera doesn't do it justice. I should get my other camera, the nice one. But yeah, when I see these animals right here, I'm so freaking amazed. I wish I had a good camera for you guys. It's inside. I, this can't, the animal will be gone by then. He didn't like the cicada wing. <laughs> well, so I end up not using the power drill. The screws are so rusted shut that this thing, it, it wouldn't even budge it. I mean, it's not strong enough, right? I ended up using the bar breaker. Three fourths deep socket. Oh, damn near 40 year rusted shut. Nuts and bolts are, <laughs> they're tough cookies, I'll tell you that much. It's all manpower. The hormone of the gods. Hand tools and manpower. The hormone of the gods. All right, the homo habilis will be proud. No power tools. Get intimate with the truck. Yeah. 
that's the hammer. One side is the torque wrench, one side is the breaker bar. So here's the, uh, the death count now. I'm saving the toughest ones for last. And these ones, the last ones are really tough. I, I've taken this out. I'm even using my weightlifting gloves. The hormone of the gods. Can you see that? The breaker bar with the three, four, with the six points, of course. Don't use 12 points or anything. Six points gets a good grip. So six points, half inch drive, three fourths. And I'm using this on one side. On the other side, I'm using the torque wrench and uh, three fourths, six points, of course. Um, this is a three eighths, I think it's a three eighths drive. Three eighths, I'm oh, sorry, three eighths drive. So it's three fourths, six points, three eighths drive. I've been able to do it better, you know, one side using the um, breaker bar and the other side using the torque wrench. So they work perfect in unison. And another note, never use the deep sockets with the million teeth like jaws. It's like, I don't know what you call those, ridges? Million, you see all those ridges? Never use that, it's not gonna work on rusted shut screws, like screws that are problematic, they're rusted shut. This will not do them any favor. You might strip it. It's just not gonna get a good grip so use a six-sided, uh, use six-sided, see the six-sided one? Definitely use that on rusted, shut rusted screws. Uh, it works a lot better. It works really good actually. So it gets a good grip, it stays on there. It doesn't necessarily, it doesn't strip it. So anyway, just a note. To the three-fourths, like I said. They're so hard. These are the screws I removed. Look how rusted they are. I mean, sometimes the, the, the paint, whatever came out, I mean, these are so tough to remove, dude. For the most part, most of them was extremely, extremely tough to remove. Um, you can see how rusted they are. I hit them with a hammer first. Um, I didn't drop WD-40 on them, but I dropped WD-40 on the rest of them, which is super tough to remove. So far, what I got out, I got out the two brackets, and I got out the, look at all those rusty screws. Rust buckets. It was So I started last evening, uh, like 7 p.m., and I worked for, for a minute trying to get them out. I was behind, looked like I was behind enemy lines in the woods and trees, because you could hear explosions in the background. People were setting up fireworks. Even my brother was setting up fireworks. So it was all this light and explosions. Boom, 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 boom. I'm at night with a flashlight because it was pitch. It was really dark. Uh, I'm at night with a flashlight fixing the Humvee like I'm behind enemy lines. It looked crazy. But anyway, uh, I'm going to finish up today removing this thing. I didn't think it was going to be that tough to remove. But it's a tough son of a gun. Those are... Uh, rusted screws are not that easy to remove like I thought. Ah. Uh, I misjudge that well this truck is 87 so what is 37 rusted screws uh, are probably right uh, the, the ones I probably dealt with in the past weren't like this you know uh, this it's an 87 Humvee M98 and uh, it's probably been this is probably the same screw 37 years ago and just yeah what are you gonna do well let's go Still gotta get these shackles out. There was a pin here, this pin right here, to hold that in. So I got that out by banging it from the bottom. But this one right here doesn't have a bottom. Doesn't have a bottom down here where I can bang it. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a screw, uh, putting a screw inside it, and then I'm banging the hammer. Hold on. I'm banging the hammer down so it can jump up. <laughs> Let's see if this works. It's coming out, but it's still there. Again, putting the screw inside it. Pretty much now I'm, I'm banging the hammer. I'm banging the hammer like in all sides, like boom, 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 whatever, whatever it takes to get this thing out. Uh, the little things, 
<laughs> become the most annoying. But one thing I like about these projects, doing it yourself, is you run into a lot of problems, but you just figure it out, you know? The whole thing with me using the torque wrench and the the um, the breaker bar at the same time, you know, it just you just figure it out, you know? Now I put the screw in all the way, so hopefully I can just yank it with the screw there. I can just yank it down, press this in the downward position and just, and just yank it. Uh, maybe wiggle, wiggle and yank, right? <laughs> and it worked. I yanked it off. Improvise, improvise. So, all right, let's go to the next step. So this is what I'm working with. Um, I got 15, 16 um, deep sockets, right? And I have on one side, on the left side, I have the torque wrench. On the right side, I have the bar breaker. Breaker bar. I have the breaker bar. On the right side, I have the breaker bar. I said bar breaker. Should I leave that in or should I edit it? <laughs> that sounded crazy. It's been a long day, you know, getting busy, doing, doing stuff. So I took out the shackles just to give you an idea how it rusts. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to do in the world, but took off the shackles. I know you guys don't want to see this, but my friend is back. There he goes. Man, I love it. When I take walks, like I said, again, I take walks, creaking, I see this, I, I'm just flabbergasted. I'm like, wow, so amazing. I don't know why, but they, they, they just amaze me. Uh, this camera might not be doing it justice. They're so beautiful. The color coordination, the black and the gold, it's like the bron um, bronze gold, it's just, the texture of it, it's just amazing. I don't know. The so-called bumper is down. Oh, I gotta, yep, <clears throat> that's progress. The old bumper is hanging down right over there. Old bumper hanging down, so getting some progress, getting that thing out of there. Saving the hardest for last, this run right here and the other side is the hardest is the hardest one to get out, so I'm saving that one for last. Getting all the ones that are uh, so-called easy out, then that. So that's that's how I'm gonna do it. But so far, we're making some progress, getting these things out of here to get the new airlift bumper so we can fly, fly, fly. So it's finally out. You can see that this one is uh, it's, it's in bad shape, but it's not in as, as bad shape as the other one. Let me show you something. See how this is crooked? It's not straight. It's, it's not lined right. So I, I, maybe I need to knock this out. See how tan. If I would have knew, I would have tried to buy a new one. I don't know. I didn't know these are so bad, I was going to reuse them. Look at them. It look horrific, dude. But, uh, yep, the old bumper is finally out. So now it's time to put in the new one. So this is what we got in so far. Bang, got the new bumper foundation in. Now, the thing that I did that I might have made a mistake is I tightened up uh, both all four brackets. So now when I come to line up the new bumper, it uh it might welcome to the jungle da, 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 da. i love that song <laughs> it just it looks like a jungle back here but um <clears throat> since i tighten it up when it comes to aligning it i'm not gonna have any wiggle to make sure that it aligns right i just cut off the the light to the license plate cut off wiring i don't know if i did something no bueno there uh figure it out but um yeah let's go so yeah <clears throat> this is where we're at right now See, I took off my shirt. When, when you take off your shirt, you know it's game time. Like, it's about to be a fight when you take off your shirt, right? <laughs> but um, that's where we are right now. The bumper is right there. I'm gonna install the bumper again. I'm, I should have I should have left these kind of loose. I tightened them up a little too tight. Give me wiggle room. Hopefully that won't give me a problem when I line, up, when I line it up with the bumper. But let's see. Let's see how it goes. The new bumper is unwrapped heavy as fuck as heavy as a son of a bitch give me a drink i got the first bolt in motherfucker 
let's hope this bad boy lines up. Hold on. Let's hope this bad boy lines up. So I got this one in so it can kind of support and hold itself up while I pull the other one in. Let's hope this motherfucker lines up. <clears throat> Getting closer and closer to get this project done. Then I'm gonna go out and have some fun. This is what we got now. <clears throat> looks, looks badass. Looks cool. So one thing went completely right. The screws, they fit in perfectly with no troubles. They just slid in. How you like me now? What the hell is that bug? Is that a bug? Get, get out the camera. Son. But how you like me now? Look at that. This is how I'm doing it. A torque wrench and uh, is that a torque wrench or a, a breaker bar at the other side? Well, whatever it is. I think the other side is a breaker bar and this side is a torque wrench. That's how I'm doing it. <laughs> so time to install the mud flaps. I'm even just looking at the picture is kind of you can figure out how to do it, right? It's fairly simple. Fairly, fairly simple. All right, let's go. Okay, so I got these screws in. I just got to tighten them up. So I'm going to, let me turn this thing around. Hold on. I got these screws in, so all I got to do is tighten them up. I think I, I, think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten these screws up. Then I'm going to remove these two uh, bolts, tighten these bolts up. I keep saying screws. I guess it's the same, I don't know. So I'm gonna remove these bolts and then in goes these two whole slots. And baya, I should be good. They have more instructions there, but I don't know what for, so. I just wanna get the mud flaps on, how about that? So I should be good, let's go. Then I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put the license plate at. Where am I gonna put my license plate? I think I'll put it here. Then I thought about putting it where the mud flap is. Then I thought about putting it here, even thought about putting it up here, which makes no sense. Drill holes on the, I don't know. I will figure it out. I don't want to put it in the middle. That's where I, I know I don't want to. So I'll figure something out. So one down, one to go. It's moving. <laughs> so just in case you was wondering, <clears throat> in case you were wondering what I'm using, I'm using a torque wrench, same thing I've been using. I'm using a torque wrench and a breaker bar, 3-4 sockets, both 3-4 sockets. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm using to screw these in. I'm pretty much done. Personal preference, matte black on the nuts and bolts. I think they stand out too much. It's shiny silver, nuts and bolts, everything is kind of dim and dark so matte black on the nuts and bolts pause so here we go I painted it matte black I got the screws painted matte black I'm gonna install the, the, the shackles that these are the shackles that came before it. so I'm like where do I put the license plate I can't put it here there's no room I didn't want to put it in the middle I didn't want to put it because the airlift bumper, pretty much everything is spoken for. So I didn't want to drop it there. So I'm going to put it in the mud flap. I was thinking of putting the license plate like around here, drill some holes. Does that work anyway? I'm, I guess I'm going to find out. I might ruin stuff. But I decided I'm going to put it at the bottom. Just, um, but this is obviously not my license plate. I'm going to actually put my license plate. But uh, I'm going to put this instead so you guys won't stalk me. <laughs> I'm just playing. But yeah, I'm just going to put it at the bottom. See how that works. Maybe at the top. Nah, I like it at the bottom. Let's go. <clears throat> so to drill the holes, I'm going to use the Black and, De the Black and Decker power... What is this thing called now? My, my mind is going blank. Power drill. <laughs> the Black and Decker power drill. And uh, I pick, I pick um some drill bits. I don't know. I don't know what size drill bit I'm gonna use. I guess I just, just kind of 
guess what size would be appropriate. And uh, I think I need to mark it, right? Mark it there so I know where I'm drilling. Because I know the plate's not going to stay on taped. The plate's not going to stay on tape while I'm drilling it. So. I did. so what I did is I taped it on to give me an idea how it will look. And as far as a light, um, <clears throat> license plate for a light, I might put like a magnet. Is this metal? So I'll put like a magnet here or something? So the light, I, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. This, so, you know, I know you're going to say, hey, this is a dumb idea. What is he thinking? What is he talking about? I'm literally, when I do stuff, I'm just off the top of my head just thinking. And like, that's how it would look. I marked uh, a red spot here so I can know where to drill. And I'm using, um, I believe this is a 1564. 1564. I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Yeah. So I can't hold the um, pad with drill button, just to give you an example. And then I'm going to put the bolts in. Let's see. These screws, they fit in there. So I got the holes in. I didn't um, push it in all the way because I'm going to install my rail plates there. So I didn't want to have to unscrew that completely. This American flag plate, faded, kind of vintage-like, looks so cool. I really like it. But uh, there's the plates. That's how the plate's going to look on it. And there you have it, guys. There you have it. <clears throat> so, update. This video is kind of weird. The final shackle is here. So now all the shackles are on, I believe, right? waiting on my missiles to come in for my next install. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. My favorite porn star is Lexi Cruz, and I wear my sunglasses at night. Boys, let's ride.